has been a pretty happy, pretty productive, and then pretty, or quite sad day for me. Uh, kind of depressing too, but, uh, so, before I get to the horrible news, let me just, ah, so horrible, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start you off with the horrible news. Uh, turns out both the, or the entire breeding pair, which means both fish, uh, the, uh, peacock pigeons have died. Whoopee. So now I've just got a, uh, the fluval C2 running on that tank, the uh, biological filtration running up, getting up and running, my, I mean, and uh, get some plants rejuvenated. I'll show you that later, or tomorrow, actually. It's like midnight right now, so uh, that's why my voice is so tired. <laughs> that and sad. Uh, so now I don't have been any breeding pairs of fish right now. Working on the agassiz, and I'm working on getting some fajitas, maybe some killifish. Uh, show you a video of that later. But uh, I mean, I think some gardeneries, something like that. I found them at a house of tropicals, great place. Uh, say it again, only place I ever I ever found the, some rare fish at. Uh, nice rare pistos and killifish. Rare uh, killifish, especially if you live on the uh, east coast around DC. By that I mean states, Maryland, Virginia, I think West Virginia maybe, and uh, North Carolina. Actually, I haven't, I haven't really searched for any fish stores in North Carolina, but I doubt it. Because uh, all the big fish industries are not really on the east coast. Good thing it scared that male away because the male has apparently been picking on this female so much that she's barely hanging on. Shoot. I've got to shoot him away. All her fins are just messed up. The only fin that's not completely torn up is her dorsal fin, which, if you've ever really looked at fish anatomy, doesn't really help that much. With balance, yeah, kind of. But uh, pectorals, pectorals, which are the fins on the clear fins on the side, are what she really needs to move. Those are really beaten up. I need to get her into isolation before the male tries, or before the male kills her. She just flares up and just bites her. It's kind of messed up. Talk about abuse, huh? Uh, so yeah, fish got problems too. Uh, so now I've got an empty, t empty ten gallon. This ten gallon, <laughs> which might end, end, might end up just being this male agassi. I actually might uh, ask House of Tropicals if they'll trade uh, this pair, or at least this male and the female downstairs of agassis. For uh, a pair of fajitas or some killifish, maybe, or some rams, because I'm getting rid of these guys. Is there? Wait, this male's way too aggressive. That female's like so happy when I first got her. She was all flaring. She was like, "Hey, I'm ready to mate." Now she's just beat up and dying. You are a bad male fish. You're pretty, but shame on you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's sad. And sorry for any of you guys who like the Agazi or Agazizis, as some people say, but they got to go. They annoy me, and he just ate a bubble. Like, he just went up, thought a bubble was from food. So yeah, that's the end of them, or at least in this tank. Uh, yeah, that sucks. So tomorrow or next weekend, I'm going to get the uh, 29 gallon set up and uh, get it cycling. 
going to have a lot of fish drawer trips and uh, hopefully I can re revive this tank with some more sand, some more plants and uh, get this one up and running too. It is a sad day when you find out your female's going to die because you couldn't find her. And when you do find her, she's beaten up and you know that's the male. And now I don't even know where she is, but I'm hoping she's hiding in the Java Mosque because it's like the only safe place for her right now. So yeah, I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna sleep. See you.